Jitsu Shimabuku. He is the founder of Ishinru Karate. It was during a vision given him in the 1950s that Shimabuku saw the principles of his art revealed, and under the inspiration of the goddess Magami, he founded his style of karate. Oh, Magami? By the direct instruction of his spirit, the Okinawan master drew a picture of what he had seen in his vision, which later was duplicated as the logo and symbol of the Ishinru style. And under the oversight of one of his disciples, the artwork took form. And the symbol of his art can now be seen adorning tens of thousands of karate uniforms. Uh, I just want to bring to attention some things here. First of all, always the stars. We've got the dragon. Um, this blade in here, um, we know about those spinning things and that, uh, the power of three or whatever it be. Um, just certain consistent things. And dojos worldwide. Look closely at the figures represented in the emblem of his art. The woman is an unnatural blending or amalgamation of the human female and a serpent. Above her right shoulder is the image of a great red dragon. Look at the stars. Okay, again, dragon. Uh, the woman is the, it was given to man. It was a rib from man. And three prominent stars. The female image is shown rising up out of the abyss and seated upon the stormy seas. The symbolism is too exact to be mere coincidence. Come hither, I will show thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. And I saw a woman sitting upon many waters is, is ruling. Uh, the, the water, the sea is people. Sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven... Okay, a scarlet covered beast is the purple that they, uh, or the the color that they adore uh, the, on themselves uh, for their authority. Um, full of names of blasphemy. Now remember, back then, names were titles as well. Um, it, when you translate uh, the names from Hebrew, it is actually something about them, in them. It's intent upon the stormy seas. The symbolism is too exact to be mere coincidence. Come hither, I will show thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy. Okay, now keep that in mind, full of names and blasphemy of all the verbs that are described. Uh, about this beast, the woman sitting on the beast, okay? And what the beast represents and what the woman represents. Uh, the woman overall is about creation. And this creation is outside of the father's domain. So it is darkness. Having seven heads and 10 horns. Authority. And the waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Whoops. The original... So the authority... Oh my gosh, I just goofed that up. The authority is uh, given to this LEDs woman... LEDs, they're full of names of blasphemy. This authority is given to this woman through this. Okay, uh, so it's complying to her, not necessarily the individual, but the overall countries. Well, because of rogue leaders as well, because uh, obviously they're not complying to what the people are voting for. In a big sense. Come hither, I will show thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast. <laughs> full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples, 
multitudes, nations, and tongues. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. The original title given by the founder for this symbol was Ishinru no Magami, or the goddess of Ishinru. Magami, may, means woman. Kami, or Gami, is the Japanese word for Shinto deity or god. Ishinru, Ish, or Ichi, means one, chief, or first. Shin, and it's funny because when you count in Japanese, you're using some of these when you count to ten. Ich, ni, san, chi, go, roko, ichi, hachi, ku, ju. In spirit or heart. Ru means tatsu, dragon or way. The goddess of the first spirit dragon. Even the name of the founder, Tatsu Shimabuku, was symbolic of the style's ultimate goals and purpose. Tatsu literally means in Japanese, the dragon man. He was given this title in honor of his enlightenment and recognition by the pagan gods in the founding of this art. To him and the initiated few, the final revelation of Ishinru Karate is the way or path. Now, wasn't it Jonathan said that he was uh, involved with uh, self-defense most of his life? Uh, applying to the dojos and the ways of and he just uh, proudly announced how he did a fireplace in the shape of an op octagon um, there's more to it than that but I'm just going to leave it there uniting as one the spirit of the dragon and man and Shimabuku's art is not the only style which reveals its true spiritual intent Aikido, the way of harmonizing with spirit. Hapkido, the path or way of unity with spirit. Xingyi Quan, mind, will, and form boxing. Bagua Zhang, a trigram or divination palm. Again, how these names are actually like titles uh, that descri uh, describe through verbs in each of these martial arts real power is obtained only by the transfer of spiritual energy for it is through the inspiration of the masters gurus and teachers which is passed down to their disciples so you're kneeing to your uh, uh, God you're bowing to your God that the dragon is working to bring about his last great deception and it is through these countless millions of men, women, and innocent children which strive in their training to imitate the role of their instructor that an image is truly being formed. Either we are being daily transformed by the renewing of our minds into the image of the Lord Potter's Jesus Christ, clay. or we are being slowly conformed and molded into the image of this world and its first rebel leader. Have you ever wondered why so many dojos and martial studios require students to remove their shoes when entering the school or stepping onto the training floor? Is it possible that these practices reveal a deeper spiritual significance than many have been led to believe? And the Lord God said unto Moses, Draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Are these schools being used as the grounds upon which to worship Eastern pagan deities? Look at their very names in the Asian languages and let us listen to their own response. Dojo, a place of the way. Dao Zheng, the place of enlightenment. Traditionally, the dojo is considered sacred ground with its own special etiquette. To begin, every student submits unquestionably to their teacher. Submission is often represented symbolically by the simple ceremony of bowing to the teacher. Just Whatever the floor is made of, be it cement, carpet, or an expensive mat, the way I present my answer when the student asks, why do we take off our shoes, is that the student removes his shoes 
to yield to the instructor's right to lead. The instructor removes... So, doing certain actions yield to the teacher's right to, uh, to teach and believe you, f you follow. Um, there's a lot of commons, um, a lot of patterns uh, in this you find in Jonathan. And uh, he's very proud about his, his training, um, whether it be in the arts uh, of uh, sketching and, and the works of his hands, or the martial arts, or the, uh, the art of teaching people supposedly the scripture, which um, is also his blasphemy to himself, trying to teach the scriptures in a martial arts way. And, and I say that because there's a lot of consistencies, a, pat, a lot of patterns that Jonathan shows, Jonathan Kleck shows, well, uh, others too. And, and this is something to be uh, focused on, uh, is their pattern. What is their pattern? Are they, is their pattern to condemn people all the time? Is their pattern about bringing people together? Is a pattern about repentance, you know? And some of these patterns together um, define somebody. His shoes because he too yields to a higher power. The dojo is a destination. It is a place to go. It is sacred ground. No one ends up in a dojo by mistake. For many of us, it is like coming home. We so Jonathan, which home are you trying to accomplish? The home of scripture or the home of the works of your hands? In Jesus, I pray that these people may see the light of the Father and not the light of the world. The truth in the scripture and not the truth of the judgment that's been put upon the earth if you do not accept uh, repentance and uh, salvation. Father, I ask you to water the seeds of the people that your harvest may grow through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, I do pray.